Welcome back to Wave 3 Listens. Body Shapes Medical is with us, and uh, we're talking about hormone imbalance. We're talking about energy levels. You know, in fact, I opened the show, and I talked about friends of yours who may have a little bit more energy than you do. They may look a little bit younger. You can't figure out exactly what it is. I bet they may be going to Body Shapes Medical. We've got one of those here, and that is Mark Kleiner. Mark is a friend of mine, and he is great energy. You always have. With that being said, Mark, you've retained that energy, and you give a lot of credit to these folks at Body Shapes Medical. For sure, John. I tell you, one day I was driving down the road. I was heading back to the office, feeling a little bit low on my energy level. Um, heard a commercial, and I'm like, why am I not going to see my friends and figure out why I'm dragging? So, <clears throat> excuse me. So I drove by. I called the Bardstown Road location. Said I'm friends with Ted and Lisa. Can I come in and talk with you? Uh, basically, this has probably been what five, six months ago, I At guess. At least I would think, yeah. So we did. They did some blood work and evaluation, and found out that my testosterone was low. You know, and you know, I know my buddies are all laughing at me right now, but you're <laughs> probably low energy like I was, and now I'm laughing at you because I feel great. <laughs> yeah. You know, um, it's amazing how much better I feel. I've been working out in the morning, I work out in the afternoon, and I've had good results with that. My metabolism, I just wasn't dropping the weight. And uh, my testosterone was like at the bottom of the barrel, and now I feel awesome. You know, and, and there's a lot to be said for Mark, you are successful, and again, I'm, I'm bragging on both of you, but with that being said, it's a competitive workplace. It's not just all about how you look and how you feel, but if you, if you, if you have more energy and you can do things that you could when you were younger, I think you're more competitive in the workplace, and you're very successful. You want to keep that level of excellence up there, correct? Well, the key for me is I've got an insurance agency here in town. I've got 12, about 11, 12 employees. I'm married. I've got five kids, four still at home. I got teenagers. I got little ones. My wife's a couple years younger than me. Um, I'm trying to keep up with everything. We have right. to give him extra for that. No. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm just trying to keep up with everything. And, you know, it's not that I'm trying to, to, sure. to, to compete in sports on some professional level and I'm, you know, juicing like the, you know, yeah. you know if you're at a regular level, you don't need this, you right. know. But if you're 44 like I am and you're trying to, to, to juggle all the these things out there, then this is a great way for you to be able to get the energy that I feel as good as I've felt since college, really. And fantastic. I didn't drink the night before, you know. <laughs> <laughs> fantastic. Well, that, that speaks for itself. Well, let's go to the phones. You ready, Lisa? I'm ready. We're going to put Lisa to work. Uh, to work here. Let's talk to John in St. Matt and Mount Washington. John, welcome to the show. Hi. Hello, John. Go ahead. Um, I've been having tenderness in my nipples, and I know it's really awkward sounding symptom but I was wondering if that was a testosterone deficiency I can't find anything online and was wondering if you knew it's not an awkward question actually John it probably is it's John did I say that right yeah mm -hmm. it's like John wait a minute I'm sitting next to John mm -hmm. uh, it probably is some kind of hormone imbalance I'm not for sure if it would be the testosterone level um, what I would encourage you to do is make a free consult with us maybe get some labs drawn and let's see where all of your levels are I mean you never know it could be a progesterone issue I mean we talk a lot about testosterone with men but to be completely honest with you you have as many hormones as women do and we need to look at all of your levels and make sure so I would not I would not venture to say that that is not a hormone imbalance. So please go online to maybe take the hormone health quiz as a first step and then give us a call and come on into one of our locations and let us sit down with you for about an hour and go over everything with you. All right, let's grab another one. Let's talk to Tammy in Salem, Indiana. By the way, thanks for calling, John. Tammy, welcome to the show. Hello. Uh, my question is, I have one friend who uh, is on a hormone patch and another one who is taking estrace. And in your opinion, Lisa, which of the two, if, if any, is safer? Actually, what I would, the question I would ask you, is it bioidentical? Because that's really, really important in our industry. You want to make sure that any type of hormone that you do is a bioidentical form, and it comes from a well-reputable compound pharmacy. Everything that we do is made in a compound pharmacy, so that's why it's really, really safe. It basically just means it's the same thing that your body produced when you were younger. It's broken down, it's metabolized the same way that your natural hormones did. You don't want to do anything synthetic. That's where all the dangers came out. That's where all the bad uh, reputation with hormone therapy came about. So what I, what I would ask, the question I would ask you is to find out exactly what it is. Is it bioidentical? Is it synthetic? If, it's, if it is synthetic, please stay away. Come in to either us or someone that does bioidentical hormones and let's get you straightened out. All right, more of your questions coming up. We've got Jim in Jeffersonville. We've got Myra in Fern Creek. Sarah in Irvington, Kentucky. We'll be right back. Way 3 listens, Body Shapes Medical.